Greetings. Hi, I'm Daniel Charlton. I'm the CEO of Landquire, and we think we've got the best kept secret in real estate. I'm going to share it with you right now. First, here's the premise. Our investors earn 21% annualized return on land investments with us. On the left hand side, you can see the last three years. The numbers are pretty consistent and they project out. I'm going to show you how. First, we work with accredited investors. If you are, great. If not, you have questions about how to qualify, our investor relations team can provide you with all the information you need. The 21% return is based on a couple of things. One, you got to buy the land cheap. You got to buy the land and we call it an arbitrage spread in real estate. And we understand how to do that. I'm going to share with you a lot of information about exactly how we do it. The second thing is before you buy it, understand how you can entitle it and then entitle it. Landquire is capable of doing entitlements. We do them all across the country. I'm going to show you how in a moment. Then refinance. Once you've bought it, you've entitled it, you've begun to construct it, begun to build the operation, utilize the construction loan process and the cash flow structure and conversion to go to a mini perm or a permanent financing and return investment capital or investors. We do it all the time. Refinancing based on two things, that's four and five on the right hand side, cash flow and appreciation. Since 1950, Okay, seven decades, 11.5% is the average annual appreciation of land, undeveloped land in the United States. That's the top performance in appreciation or average annual value of any investment class in the United States in those seven decades. We're in the right place for investment. Undeveloped land provides returns and appreciates. As Mark Twain said famously, buy land, they ain't making it anymore. In 2022, we achieved a 21.9% internal rate of return for investors, and we returned to them a little under $3.8 million of capital. Quick note on this, 2022 was the worst performing real estate market in history in the United States. We thrived. The problem that we solve with our investment capital has to be stated, and it is the most significant problem in real estate in the United States in its history doesn't matter where you look. The estimates are going to show you between 3.5 to 8 million units of housing. That means an apartment or a home. Units of housing shortfall. The supply and demand curve is completely inverted in the United States. Why is that a problem? How do municipalities provide educators to teach your kids? How do you provide people to, to care for you when you're sick? How do you build the economic engines of performance and production, all the jobs and service and retail, etc. if you don't have housing? You don't have growth. We think we're a big part of the solution. There's millions of homes needed. Let us show you exactly how we go about our piece in this, which drives the returns. Based on the business model, it's really simple. First, get the raw land under contract. We're negotiating land deals all over the place all the time. We analyze about 100,000 100, parcels of off-market land per month. And by the way, there's 2.3 billion acres of privately held off-market land in the United States. Yeah, about 65% of it is agricultural. You're gonna see in a minute that that's fine too. But you get the law of land under contract and you understand why you're going to buy it. Communicate that information to investors and raise investment capital. Get investors to join us. Third, we love mobile home parks and RV parks. We love them because they're affordable. We love them because they're easily entitleable. We love them because we understand them well, and they provide substantial economic value, get improved quickly in communities. Four, build the business. We understand how to operate these types of models. We're developers as well. We come from a long background of that. Rent and operate the property or hire out people to be able to manage it for us. Utilize the construction and the operating model and cash flow and appreciation to refinance it, pay off the investors. You see a pref return. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Appreciation, the dividends, and pay down the debt. Whether you do it with Landquire or you do it on your own, you should have American land in your portfolio. We don't think you're going to find a better place to invest in it than with us, to be honest with you. But American land is the most highly regulated land asset available in the world. There's more regulatory information, there's more compliance information, due diligence information, granularity that converts into a title that says, you own it, I buy it, I own it, I sell it. American land is a unique opportunity. I don't think you'll find anybody better at doing that. That's part of the best secret. Let's talk about performance. I wanna show you three projects that we've recently done. So this is all closed within the last six months, but they underscore different things. First, Texarkana, Texas. That little 11 acre parcel of land was a bunch of trees sitting out along a culvert, right? We bought it, 
We found that we could turn it into a planned unit development. These aren't mobile homes or RV parks. These are standard single family residential homes. Our investors achieved a 62.8% return on that investment. We sold that property last November to a builder developer in the market. Why is that so important? There has not been a single plan unit development done in the Texarkana market in over 20 years. So we brought absolutely new inventory, new inventory to a market. Next, Yuma, Arizona. That subject site of that sand pile, that's all it was. We put a land plan together for it, got it entitled and approved through the community, and we turned around and sold that to the Choice Hotel Group. Choice Hotels is putting a budget hotel on there, as well as an affordable housing multifamily project, and they paid our investors a 24% return back. Nice work and a great project and purchased by a group that we're gonna do a lot more deals with. Third, Campo, California. If you look at the upper right-hand photograph, you're gonna see at the bottom a little line, right, the wall. That's the border wall between Mexico and the United States in the Southern California side. This was bought as a recreational product opportunity. We thought we could promote this for the, you know, the ATV, the recreational class. We did pretty well. And this is just a land asset, an agricultural asset that we turned around for investors at almost a 29% return on investment. Three distinct projects, plan unit development for single family homes, a parcel that could be developed for commercial application for a hotel and multifamily housing, and a recreational partner parcel along a historic border where people take their ATVs and whatever they wanted to do and have fun. Our investors made money in all those different ways. Not just here though. We do deals everywhere. Those green states there, there's 20 of them. We've done deals in those markets. They feature the same things that we look for everywhere. Path of development. Population is growing. Where's employment growing? Landquire has done over 115 completed, fully done transactions in these 20 states and we're not done. Here's what's interesting. We bought land in, in, in 138 counties across the United States. There are 3,400, I think, in 42 counties in the United States. We've only bought land in 4% of the counties. Wow. But that's managed to buy land and engage in land in over 20 states. So what you can see is that even though they're granularly defined metrics, they apply across multi-markets and we look at a very thin line. But guys, we're talking about 2.3 billion acres, so there's plenty of stuff to buy. This is our landing page in LinkedIn. Please go to it. And as you'll see at the, on the left-hand side up at the top, we have 54 employees there. We've got a number of, of 1099 workers and professionals all over. But we've got a base staff, about 54 employees. Take a look at their backgrounds. Every LinkedIn profile is listed there. All the resumes are there. You're going to see a lot of experience, a lot of experience in, in the real estate industry. But Landquire alone provides that experience. We analyze over 100,000 parcels on a monthly basis to decide what to buy. We're an absolute 700 pound gorilla in terms of data management and it shows. But we're transparent. Look us over, go to the website, track and see the closed deals, look at the employee backgrounds, ask questions. This is a very transparent company because we can be and we like to be, so do you. Companies battle tested. When you look at those resumes, you're gonna see that people have done stuff over time. We've been developers, we've been REIT investors, we've been private equity analysts, we've been underwriters, we've been in this market and around it. And our young professionals also have done thousands and thousands and thousands of deal analytics. This company knows how to conserve money. We're a frugal company. We pour our money back into new investments and we do very well. This is a unique investment, and we think, we think we can stake a claim to us being a unicorn investment. We're a best kept secret, but it is a unicorn. We're taking available information on raw land and turning it into number one, a passive investment model. You put your capital in, we have all the bells and whistles, the tools, the staff, the professionals, the education, the experience, and the capital to be able to turn that into a, a quality return. Recession proof. Mobile homes and RV parks since 2019 is the best performing sector in the real estate industry. Yeah, a lot of that was COVID driven, right? People wanted to be alone and get out and you could certainly work remotely. But remote work is here to stay. And over the last four years, that sector has been the best performing aspect of real estate investment. They're also affordable and inexpensive. If you own an RV or a mobile home, you can get into one of these parks. Let's say you're paying anywhere between five to seven or $800 a month for rental slip. You have all the amenities, you got availability to be able to go to work or go to you know, events and things. We're focused on Florida in some ways because obviously all the opportunities there for families to enjoy. Barriers to entry, 
We come from private equity. We come from real estate. We understand how to do things at scale. We just simply applied that to a model that we could convert and promote to retail investors. We have found an ability to create opportunities for the average investor in a way that works really well for us and for them and has proven a model out. So it's not easy to get into this. We know how to get into it and we've capitalized on it. Short capital cycles, this is an absolute key. If you're buying into a REIT investment, right? You're buying an investment in multifamily housing or in, in any other type of category, you're gonna be looking at five to 10 year cycles of investment return. On average, we return capital or investors in about two years, but with these planned unit developments, two to three years is a really good rule of thumb being able to get your money back out of the investment and do something else with it. And also, we provide PREF returns along the way. Let's talk about the numbers. We're always focused on what's on the upper left-hand side. If we can deliver a product to our investors, a property to our investors, a portfolio that says high teens to low 30s IRR, does that work competitively for you? And it seems to. It should, based on something else. Year one, it's really tough to offer a preferred return simply because we're spending a lot of capital. We're trying to entitle a parcel. But years two and three of that operation, we like to offer a PREF. And it's typically in the mid-teens, and 16% is a pretty good number. That PREF return should give new investors the opportunity to see, whoa, these guys are confident. Yes, we are, and that works very well, and it's really well structured in our investments. It's 100,000 for minimum investment and what we do, there's no maximums except for the capital you have and common sense, right? Invest this as a diversified class. 20 to 50% equity splits, we're focused on the top. If we can give you guys a 19 to a 34% range of IRR, we're gonna be able to manipulate and manage the equity splits that'll work for that, and we establish great retained earnings on our balance sheet, and we also plow capital back into investments because that's how we make money. This company is sort of break even on the operating level. We invest first. Through our fees and things which are disclosed, you pay us back for that investment. We stay in at a loss until we sell, and then we do just fine. So do you. Projected liquidity schedules, capital distributions are laid out very specifically in our investor portal. You should see every aspect of liquidity utilization. Where's the parcel at? Where's the entitlement at? And where's your capital at in terms of utility, placement, and returns? This is an opportunity to capitalize on a tremendous market. Again, 2.3 billion acres worth of privately held off-market land, right? The timing. We understand, relative to the housing crisis, this has reached a critical stage for economic development in the country. We have never seen, I have never seen, a better opportunity to convert a land-entitled project into a secured, approved, planned unit development, community approval, than you will now. Why? These people need people to live in their community to, to feed, to educate, to heal, to do everything to run that community. The need, we got a big need. All our current capital is allocated. We have deals flowing to us all the time right now. You know, cash is king and it's been that way for a while. We've had a lot of cash and we've seen a lot of, of really good deals come up. We've got inventory and we're looking for investors. That's why we're making this video. Urgency. Guys, we fund in under 30 days and, and quickly. So, um, do a thorough analysis, but we're gonna provide you the information to do that analysis and make a decision. You're always in the know. Our portal provides a lot of information. We have a tax center, 1065 K1s, yes, but also tax management. There's a quarterly report produced by investor relations and dispositions on every single parcel we own and it's invested in. There's investment management software, suggestions on how you can manage your portfolio. We automate our distributions. They're all done through the portal, find the information out, and then proceeds are either sent out to you or roughly about, about 90% of the capital that's invested with us gets reinvested in our projects simply because a lot of our investors know how to utilize diversification. They've outlined an amount of capital they want to use for land investment and they like our returns and they typically set up for the next thing. Investor calls. We're available to talk to you all the time, but integrated documents are key. We give you granularity. There is a securities grade, an SEC grade offering prospectus, an offering memorandum and brochure. There is a private placement memorandum, unit subscription agreements, all the due diligence requirements. You're going to have enough to know and to see, but share it with your CPA, share it with your attorney, share it with your family, make a decision on how you want to place capital. This is uh, not a date. This is a marriage. Why are we better than the others? We think five factors key. I've got four up here. One, proprietary off-market data land sourcing. 
We built this company initially to be a white label offering to the Redfins and others of data management. We decided, you know what, why don't we buy land ourselves? And it was a good decision. Express entitlement process. I said that we bought land in 135 counties right now. We know the entitlement process, the documents, the requirements, the staff, the cost, the professionals that do it in every single of those markets. Everywhere we go, we analyze how to do what we're going to do before we start buying land. Debt sourcing. We're real good at sourcing incremental capital for things like construction loans, perm loans, etc. So we set up with equity first, and then we support that when it's time to do things like build a, a construction, right? Build a, 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 a park. Project management for construction and community launch. We have project management specialists on staff, but we also have a deep, deep team in our markets of professionals. We know how to turn these projects into profitability and returns. A deeper dive into the company. Ownership team, please take a look at my resume and my partners, Roman and Thibault. Uh, we're a great team and we're here for you. And take a look at our backgrounds. The complete executive team, dispositions, finance and accounting, transactions management, acquisitions, marketing, data analytics. We've got the whole staff and every one of the individuals in that group has been with this company for three years or more, right? So it's a very seasoned team within the Landquire group that have seen thousands and thousands of transactions. Meet our investor relations team and they look forward to meeting you. They can answer all of your questions and these folks are securities trained. They're joint venture trained. They're cross border investor trained. They're investment relations trained. They understand land as well. We've got a great team. They're there for you to work with you and they'll answer any question you have. We're accounted. Um, we utilize data, uh, our meta uh, CPA services out of New York. It's a third party um, CPA. And we have provided comprehensive from inception audits of over a hundred of the companies that we own. Those companies are set up, many of them for investment. We place capital into companies in which you own a share and we do. We're the managing general partner, you're the investment partner. It's all managed third party and we do forensic audits and we provide all the analytics to all of our investors. This is transparency, but it's also very well defined. The value add business model in the community. Why does this make sense where we buy stuff? Well, first of all, we're unlocking and monetizing, unlocking value and monetizing land assets that may be held in a portfolio or held in a family trust or whatever for years because people don't know how to do plan developments. They don't know how to entitle their assets for the most part. So are we buying at an arbitrage spread and buying cheap? Sure we are. But we're also providing monetization to the people who own those land assets. The city, we're providing the opportunity for them to economically grow. And we know how to tell them what we're doing and why, and they like the approach that we bring. We've done a lot of planned unit developments and we're en route to doing a whole lot more. And the homeowner, again, in most of these path of development communities, development has begun in those markets to, to grow because the cities became too congested or, or, or expensive, right? You look at Chattanooga relative to Atlanta, you know, you look at, at, at you know, different markets, you look at, at Joplin, Missouri, you look at places to go, which are new developing markets, there's gold to be made there. And we're offering home opportunities, single family residences or, or RV slips to people who haven't seen new stock in many, many years. Dirt controls the deals. I said what Mark Twain said about buy land, they ain't make it anymore. It is the foundation and it controls all the economic value of anything that's built on top of it. We know how to control the dirt. We know how to buy the dirt. We know how to manage the dirt, entitle it, develop it, sell it. We find the best off-market deals. Again, the business is based off off-market. No one really knows the entitlement process like us. We have about a 130 point process we attract. We've gone through it in detail with every the markets that we're in. We're ready from the moment we have acquired that property. And 30 days after we acquire it, it's shown as a purchase transaction. We can convert that into economic value quickly. So, if you want in on the best kept secret in real estate, and it really seems to be, you know, land isn't sexy, but it's profitable. Go in number one, sign up at our investor portal. The link is below. Take a look at all the legal documents, review them, give them to your CPA, give them to your attorney, go through them and really understand the portal and what it provides. Ask questions. Then if you make a decision to invest, fund it. It's real simple. Go through the steps in the process. It's pretty easy to invest. We want to thank you for your time. Appreciate you uh, spending time with us. Look at Landquire, look at land, look at what we've been doing and prepare yourself to uh, do better with your investments. Thank you much.